All right, today I'm going to show you how to uh, mod your gamer score for the Xbox. And if you go all the way over to system settings and then memory, and then uh, go to your USB storage device, and uh, go ahead and configure it if you already haven't. And it only takes about 30 seconds max, not too long. And then once it's configured, go to your hard drive, go to game profiles, and move the game profile over that you want to be modded. And then you can just go back to the USB drive and make sure that it's there. And then once you're, all right, so once you're on the computer, you want to go to uh, megalopload.com, and the link will be in the description. And then you'll see a little captcha, which my mouse is over right now, and you want to go ahead and type that in. And then hit download file. Well, I accidentally typed it wrong though, but hit download file. And then uh, wait about 20 some seconds for it but in the meantime go ahead and go to google or go to 7zip.org.com or 7zip.org and uh that will be in the description and it's basically a free version of winrar and it's pretty beast i suggest you all get it and you probably will need it because uh this is in the 7zip format and then when you got that just uh do the regular download but I already have it, so I'm just gonna minimize this. And then you'll get this folder called USB modding programs. Go ahead and open that up. And then you're gonna wanna open up uh, USB Explorer. And at this time, make sure that your uh, USB drive is plugged into your computer. And then go to File, Open Device, and then click on your profile and go all the way down. until it won't let you click anymore. And once you're there, just extract it to your desktop. Desktop is the best place because it's easy to find. And just hit save and you're good. All right, and then once you've done that, you can minimize uh, USB Explorer. And then go back to that folder again and uh, open up a program called Profile Editor, and that is what you'll be using to mod your gamer score. And once Profile Editor is open, you're gonna hit the little uh, Xbox icon. You're gonna go to Open, and then find your uh, profile. and it will be on your desktop where you just saved it. Alright, and then once you have it, click open. And then you'll see all your games played on there, but this is the second account, so I just have World at War and Modern Warfare 2 on there, so... Click on Modern Warfare 2 to start off with. And you're going to want to hit the offline button. That's very important. You want to hit that. And I'm just trying to readjust it for a better angle for you guys. Just hit offline and then hit unlock all offline. And just hit yes to that. And then we'll see World at War now. And then you want to do the same thing, hit offline, and then hit unlock all offline, that's very important, and just hit yes again. And then go to the Xbox icon and hit save, and then you can exit out of profile editor. Okay, now, this is, now you need to open up Modio. Now, I already have Modio opened up, so, because it does take a little while to load. And then, uh, what it is in that folder, as you can see, that you download it. Open, bring that file that you just saved from Profile Editor on your desktop, drag it into Modio. And now, once you have it into Modio, you're going to want to rehash and resign in. And you see in the left corner, it says rehash and resign, and you can exit out. Okay, here is another important step. This is probably the most important step. Um, when you open up USB Explorer, 
you need to delete that file that's up there, your profile. You need to delete it first. If you don't do this, then it's going to mess up. So hit delete. It should be the last uh, thing. And then you're going to inject that profile that you just saved off your desktop. And then once that's done, you can uh, exit out and go ahead and go to your Xbox. Now, once you're on your Xbox, you want to go ahead and uh, plug in your USB drive and then sign into the profile that you just uh, modded the gamers for on. And then uh, just scroll over a little bit and you'll see uh, your name and then click on that. And then you'll see that I have 2,500 games for now, 1,000 for Modern Warfare 2, and uh, 1,500 for World of War. Yeah, so go tell all your friends about this. And you can also tell them you're geese if you have a lot more games. Like, my regular profile has like 50,000 gamers for something like that. Also, if you guys are interested in Temp Prestige, you might want to check out this website called MMXModHunts.com. They're pretty legit, and they only charge like $10 for 10 prestige and $5 for infection. And I also put a lot of tutorials up in the modding general dis discussion, so you might want to check those out, because I give you a lot of programs in that mega upload file that'll come in handy, and you guys can look forward to some more videos from me, and remember to subscribe, and thanks for watching.